Hey, what's up everybody? Dr. Ryan Weaver here with your wellness workshop. Today we're gonna to be going over what I call a gas card. Uh, this is a, a spinal workshop, a wellness workshop that I've done in the past. Uh, something I do every day, at least try to. Some, there are some days that I do forget. Um, but this is pretty much one of the first things I do in the morning upon uh, awakening. So these wellness workshops, whether it's a physical condition, symptoms, chiropractic care, how we look at the whole mind and body, these are just little tidbits to help you live a more abundant, proactive, healthy life. So before we get started, as always, do us a favor, like us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, that way you can stay up to date on our most relative information that we put out. So gas cards, you'll see right here that I have, and I always tri-fold this uh, and, and break this into this. So up top, I write G-A-S. And again, this is something I keep in my pocket every day. Uh, the G stands for gratitude, the A stands for action, and the S stands for service. So starting left to right there. Uh, why I always start with the G in gratitude and, and where I learned this was, you know, in the first thing in the morning before the daily grind, before stresses, before our mind and brain gets all haywire, we need to stop and pause and really think, what are we grateful for? Um, whether that is your family, um, your, your spiritual um, higher power, um, work, your, your pets, what, your kids, whatever those things may be, you know, you write those down. Um, is there the right amount that you should put? No, everybody's obviously different. And some of the things that I put for myself, uh, from Jesus to my parents to, uh, to my family to uh, pets and my team here at the office, my patients, those are things that I personally right on there. So that helps start the day with a grateful uh, mindset than stressing about something or worrying about something. The A, so actions. <clears throat> this is not a to-do list, by the way. Um, cheating on that, on the back of the, the gas card, I usually do write a to-do list because I do uh, get satisfaction just by crossing out things that I need to get done for the day. But for the A and actions of the day, the most straight thing that you should really be working on. Um, yes, this could be um, personal, this could be your work or your business, um, but typically write one or two things for each one of those. So what is the most right thing that I should be doing today? Why I say the most right thing? Because things like these right here, cell phones, emails, and such, are definitely distractions that take us away from our most right thing. Um, and even more so, you know, our cell phones are such a time suck for us that something that we could have gotten done today, maybe that got pushed off because next thing you know, you've been on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook or something like that for an hour, just scrolling and not really getting anything accomplished. So that's just to help focus our attention on the most right actions. Um, the last one, S, is for service. So again, the enjoyment and the ability that we can serve others. So. You know, something I often write on there, maybe it's buying the cup of coffee from the person behind me in the drive-thru or some random acts of kindness. One of those is maybe writing a letter or a little note to somebody in your family, um, somebody you've met. You know, for me, you know, patients and things that I just write on there um, because, I mean, think about the receiving end of that. Think about somebody who is not expecting, especially in today's world because text messaging and email, but if you were to get a card handwritten in the mail just saying that maybe you were thinking about somebody or that, hey, you know, I'm always here for you. Um, and again, that's just a few examples, but other random, random acts of kindness, maybe a, a donation to um, somebody less fortunate or some, um, you know, fundraiser or something like that. Um, but that is uh, a daily gas card. Again, uh, the random act of kindness or the, uh, the service, that could be maybe you do that once a week. Um, but again, I always still write it on there um, and continue to update those every single day. So hopefully the actions, you're, uh, you're flying through those and getting those things done um, to whatever your goals may be. Maybe that is, um, hey, I want to make it to the uh, gym you know, at, by this time. Um, and spend this much time at the gym doing this or whatever that action is because if your goal is to you know, lose weight or 
uh, build more strength, whatever that may be, that is where you can put that as an action. So. Uh, again, this is something I do every day. I hope you found this uh, simple task. I always personally write this on a, uh, a 3x5 uh, index card, something colorful um, because it stands out. But again, I put it in my pocket, but if you perhaps sit at a desk, maybe it's something you can set there underneath your monitor. Uh, again, hopefully that monitor is up at eyes level. Um, that way it can constantly remind you to reflect on those things. Um, because again, a lot can happen in a day. Stresses and things take our joy. So again, as I said, hopefully this is something, uh, just a little tidbit that maybe can add some value um, to you and your family and your life of thinking things that we're grateful for, keeping our actions in check of what's the most right thing we should be doing. Um, and then, you know, random act of kindness of giving back and, and helping somebody else and not expecting anything in return. So. Again, it was good to be back on here uh, with our workshop that we've done previously. Again, gas card is a, a simple um, thing that I personally enjoy doing. Uh, I do actually send that in text messages, kind of accountability for me to, uh, to friends and family uh, to keep me on point pretty much every day. So again, go ahead and uh, like us on Facebook, YouTube, follow us on there. That way, again, you can see all these workshops plus other content that we always publish. So, great seeing everybody. We'll see you all soon. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed that Spinal Workshop. Don't forget to like the video if you learned something and be sure to share it with somebody else who may benefit from that information discussed. Also, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you are alerted whenever we post a video.